Hey, hey, hey. Come on in, everybody. Come on in, everybody. Come on in. Greetings, everyone, this afternoon. Welcome, welcome for a while. Tuesday. Teaching. I am Gaynell Powell. Come on in. Come on in this afternoon. Blessings and peace be unto each of you this afternoon. Welcome, welcome back for our Tuesday teaching. Come on in. Greetings, everyone, this afternoon. Greetings, everyone. Greetings, everyone, this afternoon. Welcome, welcome to the live screen this afternoon. I am. I am Gaynell Powell. Come on in. Come on in. Greetings, everyone. Come on in. Come on in. <laughs> you are good all the time. Come all the time. <laughs> welcome, welcome, each of you this afternoon. Come on in, come on in. Topic this afternoon that I want to teach regards to this afternoon on living in difficult season topic living in difficult season going to be in Romans chapter 12 this afternoon and I want to talk regards to living in difficult season you know there are a season of life when daily living seems impossible and maybe you're living in one right now you know God word is so practical peoples in these moments you know I liken Romans 12 and 12, which is going to be the key verse that I'm going to use this afternoon. Rejoice in our confidence, hope, be patient in trouble, and keep on praying. You know, I like in Romans 12 and 12, it shows us how to live when it seems like there is no way out of a situation. And life seems to have been placed it on pause. So, you know, these are the key words, you know, to, to be patient, uh, keep praying, you know, rejoice and hope, you know, have that confidence and hope. You know, this verse tells us what to do when daily living feels overwhelming, you know, rejoicing our confidence and hope simply means that we or to praise God, you know, make me think about David. David said, what I will bless the Lord at all times. His praises shall continually be in my mouth. He understood no matter what I'm faced with, no matter what I'm going through, I know that God is going to see me through. He's going to take care of that situation. He's going to work it out for my good. You know, God, not only for what he does or does not, but we praise him for who he is and what we know he is capable of. We can praise him for what we don't know. That he does know, you know, those times I leave, I don't understand, but God do, you know, that's why I think him for the good, for the bad, for the seen, for the unseen things, you know, uh, we can praise him for having all the power because, you know, we know he got what all power in his hands, you know, uh, Praise God, you know, on the darkest of days, you know, those days, hallelujah, when you're in a dark place, you know, those days where maybe you can't even hold your, your head up, you, you can't think straight, but, you know, we all understand, hallelujah, Romans 12 and 12 tells us what to rejoice in our what confidence and hope, be patient in trouble, and, you know, and keep praying, you know, even though, you know, it might not feel good right now in the place that you're in, but we got to what, we got to be like David said, what blessing at all times. You know, um, it changes. When, when we do that, it changes our focus from what we want to see in a situation to anticipate with open eyes what God has for us. We can draw confidence from God, never changing character. When things seem out of control, God always is what? In control. You know, nothing new under the sun, nothing catch him by surprise. You know, he's God. His goal is not to change the situation, but to change our hearts. We can't get ahead of God. You know, we have to take it, what, one day at a time. We got to let God be God. You know, he knows all about it. Nothing new under the sun. Nothing catching by surprise. You know, we know he's working on our behalf. You know, all things are working together for the good of those, what, that love the Lord according to his purpose and will in, their, in his life. Come on, somebody. <clears throat> you know, we just got to take one day at a time. We got to, just got to do what the word says, you know, to keep praying, you know, be patient in trouble and keep on 
praying, rejoicing in our confidence because we understand who's in control. God is in control. You know, keep that communication flowing uh, from your heart to the heart of God. Even if your emotion, you know, those days, you know, I don't feel good. You know, my emotions, it's all over the place. You know, we just got to keep on doing it. Keep on until I change. Keep on until our breakthrough come. You know, um, uh, Lord, long to, to hear you, you know, during that time, you know, in other words, I trust you, God, I know you're going to work it out. I know you're going to do things that is, you know, that I need, you know, at that time, I know you're going to work this situation. I know you're in control. You know, I know you got all power in your hands and I know you're going to come through for me. You know, he longed to hear you during that time, you know, let's embrace prayer. Let's praise him. Let's continue to be patient. You know, patient, you know, it's a powerful tool. You know, when you give him those praises, hallelujah, you confuse the enemy. Come on, somebody. You know, but keep moving forward. Each day is a gift from God. We should praise him morning, noon, night, anytime. Because what? Praises is, is our weapon, peoples. It get what we need done. <laughs> you know, that's our weapon. That's our ammunition. To break through. That's our ammunition for shift, you know, for, for change to take place, for miracles to take place. But um, I'm not going to be on too long this afternoon, but I'm going to close out this afternoon in a prayer. Thank you to each of you that have took time out to chime in this afternoon with me. Heavenly Father, thank you right now, Father God, for touching this person today, Lord God, that's in this difficult season, Lord God. I thank you right now, Father God. Mm -hmm. Let not that heart be troubled, Lord God. I thank you right now, Father God, for you standing in the gap, Lord God. I thank you right now, Father God, keeping them, Lord God, focused, Lord God, on your word, rejoicing and confidence and hope and being patient, you know, in trouble, you know, and keep on praying, Lord God, standing on your word. Lord God, I thank you, Lord God, for the for the change, Lord God. I, I thank you for the shift that you're doing in our life, Lord God. I thank you for the exceedingly abundantly above more than they can ask or think, Lord God. During this time, Lord God, in their life, Lord God, I thank you right now, Father God, for the miracles, Lord God, that you're performing, Lord God. I thank you for your keeping, your saving power, Lord God. I thank you for bringing healing. I thank you for restoring, Lord God. I thank you right now, Father God, mm, giving back, Lord God, with the canker worms and locals have stolen, Father God. I thank you, Lord God, for each tear, Lord God, that they have cried, Lord God, I thank you, Lord God, right now, Father God, for double for the trouble, Lord God, I thank you right now, Father God, for you moving, Lord God, I thank you for your healing touch, your divine touch, Lord God, I thank you for deliverance on time, Lord God, I thank you, nobody can do what you can do, nobody can heal, nobody can set free, Lord God, like you, Lord God, nobody can hit men, nobody, Lord God, can deliver, Lord God, like you, Lord God, I thank you, Lord God, for your healing touch, Lord God, Thank you for patience, Lord God. I, I thank you, Lord God, for your presence, Lord God, where there's fullness of joy, Lord God. I thank you for breaking these changes in our life, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God, for taking them, Lord God, higher in you, Father God. I thank you for this new walk, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God, for a solid foundation, Father God. I thank you right now, Father God, for comfort, for peace, Lord God, for closure, Father God, for this person, Lord God. I thank you for these miracles, Lord God. I thank you for your anointing that destroy every yoke, Lord Lord God, I thank you for your power. Lord God, I thank you, Lord God, for you today, Father God. Thank you, Father God, for all these things being done, Lord God. In your name, I do pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you again today for each of you that have took time out to chime in. For the ones that watch the replay, blessings and peace be unto you. Have a great Tuesday. And our Lord and Savior, you know my favorite motto, Jesus love you and so do I. And he is concerned about you. But rejoice, peoples, in our confidence, hope. Be patient in trouble and keep on praising them. Come on, somebody, and keep on praying and watch God do these miraculous miracles on your behalf and in you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But you have a wonderful afternoon in our Lord and Savior. And thank you again for each of you that have took time out to tune in. Bye-bye. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to the Lamb of God.